Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Read this again. This song, because you guys asked specifically traveling? about the Egyptians and Pharaoh and all of that. Y'all travel? Yes, we're, we just traveled here. Okay. So we, we travel. Read this again. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 3. Yeah. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwell, shall ye not do. So when Moses came to pick us up out of Egypt, the Most High gave this as, as a lot of us. So everything that you know about Egypt and Egyptology and the, and the Ethiopians and the Canaanites, we don't need to do none of that. That's, That's not important good. to us. It doesn't pertain to us at all. What does pertain to us is repentance. Go to Acts, Acts 2, 19. What pertains to us is repentance. Because once you know your Israel, you have to do the laws according to all those laws that brothers just brought out to you tonight. Like the, um, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. The, uh, the, um, the uh, modest apparel. The, um, the Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Women should be wearing pants. All of those different things you heard. Make, make sure you, that you learned that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Not a white man. And your children probably didn't know that neither. Because a lot of times our adults, as adults, will be like, oh, I already knew that. But then you ask one of your children, like, nah, he's a white man. But they already knew. But they already knew. Mm -hmm. But this is what we're supposed to do. No, they told all this, all of this other stuff you're, hey, they sisters, they all, all of this other stuff y'all talking about right now is not important. What is important is the laws that you need to learn out of this Bible. Yes, That's the only way we're going to get out of this captivity. And right. another thing, you keep saying you're going to go to hell or heaven, you're already in hell. Right. The most high already shipped us here in so slave we, ships. Right. You're shipped us here in hell. The only way out of hell is to repent. Acts 3 19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Right. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So, all this other stuff you got going around in your mind, the most high said convert. That means you got to change your mind. That's converting. Right. Change right. your mind. What happened with Egypt doesn't matter. What happened with Noah that, that one time, what Noah did when he got drunk, he repented the next day. You understand uh, that? Like you understand learn. repentance mean? Yeah. So it's not saying that we can't mess up. We do mess up sometimes. Sometimes, but we always strive to get it right the next time. Mm. Yes. Right? right? We fall. What does the scripture say? Sometimes fall seven. Sorry to hell, so what we going we leave here. Uh, just man right. falls seven times, right? That's what uh, Noah got it wrong one time. He repented very, the, the very next day. You understand that? Right. Y'all understand that, right? So you some people do get it. If you don't get it right, where you going once you leave here? Just Say again? You said it's supposed to be hell. So where you going once you leave here if you don't get it right? If you don't. Oh, you said where you going? Where you going if you, once you leave here? Yeah, if you don't get it right. You, you, you if you don't get it right, you're not leaving. So I am. I'm so you're not leaving. Be, where you going to be? Right? You're, you're in hell already. So what? Oh, you talking about your soul? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's, let's, soul. let's deal with let's deal, yeah. let's deal with this first. I'm trying to figure out what y'all was saying. Girl, you said where are we going? Okay, let's let's deal with this first. You understand what the laws are, right? So the only way out of hell is to keep the laws, right? Read that part again. Acts three nineteen. Acts chapter three verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So repent and be converted. Read that your sins may be blotted out. So everything you already did wrong so far will be erased, like it never happened. So that your sins are blotted out, read. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. For the time of the refreshing comes from the Lord. So you're saying, if you don't get it right, what's going to happen? Matthew 24. Let's get to sisters what's going to happen if they don't get it, get it right. So if you don't get it right, if you don't repent and keep the laws, we're going to read to you what happens. Y'all want to know what's going to happen. Y'all know what's going to happen? I said I want to know. What you want to know what's going to happen? Yeah. Get it, you got it? Which I was going to say. Matthew chapter 24 verse 36 yeah. But of that day and hour knoweth no man So that day when Christ returns So you're asking what what happens if we don't get it right Christ is going to return He's going to crack that sky And that's when the, that's when the earth is going to catch fire He's, he's going to start show signs right for, You already oh, showing you already you already showing so you signs this gonna end up You already showing you signs I'm saying in clouds I know that You're going to show up in the sky And everybody going to look up and it's going to be a black man I already know that But of that day and hour knoweth no man No, not the angels of heaven Nor the Son, but the Father Only Son 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 but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So the same thing, though, does Noah, remember the days of Noah? Um, Noah was going around preaching. He's saying it's going to rain. There's going to be a flood. He was telling people to repent. 
and the flood came. He built a boat on dry land, right? Do that now. So we're doing it right now. We're telling people, we came out to y'all, say repent, because the kingdom of heaven is, is at hand, right? Right. So we're telling you, you need to keep the laws of God. You need to repent before Christ returns. Read. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. So you guys are going around eating and drinking, doing what you normally do. People getting married and stuff like that, right? And you're, you're, and, uh, you're growing your kids up. You're telling them how to live in this world. But the prophets come out to tell you about the laws of God, how to repent, and all of that. Now that's what that's the part you got to take heed to. You got to listen to the laws of God, and you got to repent. You got to change your mind and raise your kids the way the Bible told you to raise them. Yes, right. Yes, right. Mary and giving in marriage right. until the day that Noah entered into the ark right. and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So the same way that nobody knew that the flood was coming, the same way the Son of Man gonna show up. He gonna crack that sky, and then people will start dying because they did not keep the laws of God. That's right. Uh, what is it? Romans six and twenty-three. Romans chapter six. Romans chapter six, verse twenty-three. Hey, hey sisters, y'all listen to this as y'all drive away. Read it. For the wages of sin is death. This is the way to the sin. This is what happens to you if you don't get it right by the time Christ gets, gets here. Read. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So the gift of God is eternal life. So if you repent and you start keeping the laws of God, when Christ comes back, you get the gift of eternal life. Yeah. That's that's what that's what you get if you don't keep, if you don't if you don't return the laws, you're gonna get death. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.